Hello, my name is Christian Durant. I'm the programming captain for Team 3653, the Botcats at West Broward High. And in this video, I'm going to give you a quick overview of how to install the necessary software to begin programming your FRC robot. These include the game tools and WPI library, as well as the radio configuration tool. We use Java to program our robot, so I will be going over the process of installing the necessary tools to do that. But the process is the same for Teams using C++ as well though the API for each is different. I won't be going over how to install LabVIEW. Now, really quickly, what exactly are the game tools? The game tools are just all of the software that we need to set up the robot for competition use. Installing the game tools supplies us with several programs we need to manage the robot, including the driver station and the interfaces used to relay information from the robot, such as shuffleboard and da smart dashboard. It also installs the RoboRio imaging tool, which I'll be going over in a future tutorial demonstrating how to set up the RoboRio. Before we begin installing everything, what is WPI library? Well, it's a software library provided to program FRC robots. It provides us with most of the necessary code to program every part of the robot using Visual Studio code. For example, the Xbox controller and trigger class imports shown here were provided by the WPI library and this whole command-based programming template was made available after installing WPI library. The commands for programming other specific components, such as the motor controllers shown here, oh, no, not there, shown here, uh, can be obtained through third-party libraries, which I'll get into in a future tutorial. Let's begin by clicking the link in the description to get to this FRC documentation page, or you can simply look up FRC documentation and click the first link too. Another quick note before we begin, if you're ever curious or want to learn about FRC hardware or software that we use, you can always head to this page and read through the documentation to learn more about the specifics. I actually suggest that those who are interested in programming and are new to FRC to read through the software and hardware overviews here to get an understanding of how the whole system works. All right, when you're on this page, click on offline installation preparation to begin. For the sake of detail, I've uninstalled all of the FRC programs on my computer to show you every step of the way in installing the game tools in WPI library. Also, if you ever want a written tutorial of how to install these tools, the next page is on this documentation website, explains how to install all of them too. So first, we're gonna begin by clicking on this link 2020 FRC game tools here. In the drop-down box, select the year and click download. Download the file to your downloads folder or wherever you're gonna to wanna to keep all of the files together. For me, I'll move it to my desktop. After you've downloaded the FRC 2020 game tools and move it to wherever you want to keep all of the files together, come back to this offline installation preparation page. Click the link for the 2020 FRC radio configuration utility and download it to wherever you had downloaded the game tools. Finally, on the installation page, click the link for the C++ slash Java WPI library installer. You're going to want to click this WPI library 2020.3.2 release or whatever the latest release date is and scroll all the way down and find the WPI library installer Windows 64. Download it to wherever you had downloaded the other two files. This one's going to take a while, it's actually 1.2 gigabytes. Once that's finished, I suggest creating a folder on your desktop to have all of the programs together in one place. For me, I'm going to create a folder called FRC3653, but you can name it whatever you want, it really doesn't matter. So to begin, we're going to install the 2020 game tools first. So double click it, Click yes on the confirmation. Click accept here. Next. Next. It's a very straightforward process. It's really just allowing it to install itself. Once that short process is done, you're going to want to click next after this. Accept. And allow it to install all of these tools here. Once that's finished, this will pop up, which you can actually ignore, and then you're going to have to restart your computer. So I'm going to do that now, and then I'll come back to install the radio configuration, as well as the WPI library installer. Now that I've restarted my computer, we've officially installed the 2020 game tools. Now if you look at your desktop, it would have installed the FRC driver station as well as the RoboRio imaging tool. So I'm going to drag these two into the FRC3653 folder. Now we can continue with installing the WPI library installer, as well as the radio configuration tool. I'm going to begin by installing the radio configuration tool, as it's the easiest. So let's begin by extracting the folder. 
to this FRC radio configuration folder, and we can delete the zip. Now what we have here is this radio configuration installer. I'm going to want to run it and then hit, click yes on the confirmation. And then just follow through all the prompts. Click next. You can change this if you want. This is up to you. I'm going to keep it as default. Next. Next. And then you're going to want to create a desktop icon. Click install. It's going to say this. Just click OK. It's going to install MPCAT for you. Click I agree. And I'll leave this on default. Once that's done, just click Next and Finish. Now if you look on the desktop, you should have this FRC Radio Configuration Utility Tool. I'm going to drag that into the FRC 3653 folder to keep everything together. Now we don't really need this FRC Radio Configuration Tool anymore, so I'm going to move it into an Installations folder just to get it out of the way. Same thing with the 2020 Game Tools installer. We don't really need that anymore, so I'm actually going to delete it. Now the last thing we have to do is install this WPI library installer. So I'm going to extract it here. To this folder, WPI library installer, Windows 64. And then we're going to see this WPI library installer here. Just click it. All users. And click yes on this confirmation. When you install WPI library, it's actually going to install its own instance of VS Code. So you're going to want to click this click download if you don't already have a VS Code. If you do, you can actually use this select existing download. For me, I'm going to install a different instance of VS Code just for WPI library. Now that this is done, we're going to click execute install to finish it all up. Once that installation is done, you should see on your desktop that we have three new things here. The VS Code, Shuffleboard and FRC Smart Dashboard. So I'm going to move these three into the FRC 3653 folder. And I'm actually going to separate it by programming. Well, that's not completely necessary. It's really just for organization. Now, we don't really need this installer anymore, so I'm just going to move it into the installations folder, or you can delete it. That's really up to you. Now that we've finished installing all of that, we officially have everything that we need to program the robot. In future videos, I'll go over how to use this radio configuration utility tool and this RoboRio imaging tool to prepare the robot for code being pushed into it. Thank you for watching this video on how to install the FRC game tools in the WPI library. I hope I was able to help you get started on programming your robot for competition. If you have any questions, I linked our programming division email in the description below. So feel free to email us at any time and we'll try to help you out as best as we can. Thank you for watching.